All right, I wanted to uh, talk about some uh, way you can run a signal free, uh, but if you don't have ped buttons like we don't have out here, or you want to be you know pretty generous with this crosswalk, um, normally a free standing signal would serve its walk time, go into its flashing don't walk, and then sit in uh, don't walk unless it got reactuated. Um, here we have a uh, a heavy left turn that's timing right now and the issue would be this walk would shut down because it would serve its walk and it would sit and don't walk for a long portion uh, one thing you can do is add a, a logic statement uh, that says what we have here is whenever the green on that left turn is on to push a dummy head button to extend this walk and so basically this will act as if someone's sitting there pushing a button until that green shuts off and then it will start its count or its walk interval um, and that way it can allow us to better match the eastbound westbound walk so they're a little bit more they end at the same time so we don't get this countdown starting way too soon so if we come to the controller here that logic statement is uh, first we go to the timing plan so our phase two walk is 20 seconds flashing don't walk is eight seconds our phase six is uh, we use the 14 second with 11 we go to our logic processor and go to the correct logic step which is this one it says when vehicle when vehicle green on phase 5 is on, then set PED detector 11 on. PED detector 11 uh, calls PED phase 2. So this way, we can time the two crosswalks a little bit better. Like I said, we can try to get a little bit closer with ending the walk or ending the countdown to when the yellow comes up. Um, we open up a bigger window for pedestrians to cross, but we're also allow also allowing ourselves to operate this signal in a free fashion.